Welcome to a new Happy Learning video! Today we have prepared breakfast, fit for a king! And do you know what we're going to have for breakfast? Fractions! But not just any fractions. Today we're going to look at whole fractions and mixed fractions. Remember how a fraction is formed? Yes, well done! A fraction is made up of a numerator and a denominator, separated by a fraction line. The denominator is the bottom number and tells us how many parts the unit has, meaning the total amount, the whole. The numerator tells us how many parts of the whole has been taken. For example, this cake. If we divide it exactly in half, each of the kings will get a half of the cake. Correct? What would happen if one of them instead of one half of the cake wanted two halves of the cake? Well, out of the cake divided into two parts, he would get this part and also this part. Wait a second, that's the whole cake. Do you know what happened? That two halves is a whole fraction. Whole fractions are those fractions in which the numerator is equal to the denominator. So it's a whole fraction. Let's look at another example to understand it better. Suppose the queen of the castle wants to eat a sandwich. As the sandwich is very big, she asks for it to be cut three pieces. That is to say, three thirds. First, she eats a piece. Then, she eats another piece. Then, she eats another piece. How many pieces of the sandwich do you think she ate? Very good! She ate the whole sandwich! Because 3 thirds is equal to a whole fraction! When the numerator is equal to the denominator, we always, always have one whole. That's why they are called whole fractions. Understand? The king, on the other hand, has decided to eat strawberries. He will eat four and a half of them. Mm. But how many strawberries is that? Let's see. The four represents the number of whole ones eaten. That is to say, one, two, three, four whole strawberries. And the fraction next to it means that there is one more strawberry, but we have to split it into two equal parts. And from these two equal parts, the king will eat one, like this. There we have it, four and a half. This is a mixed fraction. But what is a mixed fraction? Mixed fractions is the combination of a whole number and a fraction. How complicated these kings are. Thank goodness they're from a fairy tale. <laughs> the kings have a very friendly dragon as a pet. The dragon also wants breakfast and he asks for one and three quarters of an apple pie and four quarters of a chocolate cake. What a sweet tooth he has. Let's see what we can give him. One and three quarters of an apple pie is a mixed fraction. That is to say, a whole pie and another pie of the same size, but divided into four parts of which we take three. Well, now there's hardly any cake left. There you go, dragon. One and three quarters of the apple pie. Now, four fourths of a chocolate cake. That is to say, a cake divided into four parts, from which we have to give him four. Wow, the whole chocolate cake. 
Remember that four fourths is a fraction, a whole fraction. No wonder he's got such a big belly. Well, there's hardly anything left on the table to share out. Clearly, the whole and mixed fractions in this breakfast were delicious. Let's go over them. Whole fractions are those fractions in which the numerator is the same as the denominator. So it is a whole fraction. And mixed fractions are the combination of a whole fraction and a fraction. Isn't it easy? Now it's your turn to practice with fractions. And I'm going to eat this little piece of cake. <laughs> Bye friends, see you next video. Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel.